Uh, I don't think that's Tempest. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm confusing Tempest with somebody else. Either way. We got Falco Pikachu. Oh, that is Tempest. Okay, yeah, I'm confusing it with I have Sonar. Anyway, which I just realized as soon as I saw the name. Anyway, wasn't wi willing to admit that I was wrong. Either way, Pikachu versus a space animal is a good time. Although it's not Fox, it's Falco. But anyway, Pikachu likes playing against fast followers mostly. Okay. So we got one bet for uh, P-squared in here for the Pikachu, and you know, like I said, likes fast fallers. So, don't know P-squared's uh, personal conniptions in, in Melee in terms of matchups he likes, matchups he doesn't like, but you'd think that this would be one of his better ones. Interesting choice there with the forward smash, but yeah, that's dumb. You're in the dump. I don't know, he's getting shine so far, we'll see. And here comes another com- oh. That doesn't work, I guess. Maybe could have been more frame tight there. Looking for an up tilt after that pillar, but it didn't happen. We're <laughs> just gonna laser. You know, when in doubt this Falco, I guess just stand on nerd platform and sing and short hop single laser. Or short hop laser. No need to water it up. A little bit of platform movement coming out here from P Squared though. He's not really having it. He's choosing to get around the lasers uh, by exposing his underbelly to him, which, you know, generally isn't a great strategy, but if the other player is just going to try to sit there and laser you, might as well just try to go above him. Oh, okay, catches him out with a read on the down smash. Doesn't get the hitbox he wanted for the tail spike, but regardless, just needs like a tech chase up smash or a random up smash. Or you could get down tilted off the state, off, off of it, yeah. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Tempest does not look like Mingli, by the way. It looks more like an L of anything. Uh, and that's just because of his skin tone. Anyway, I'm going to stop interacting with Twitch chat because I am not a streamer, I am a commentator. Ooh. I didn't realize Thunder Drill would go that far. Ooh. Down smash. He's getting back into it a little bit here, P squared, but, uh, still not really looking like his game, especially when his uh, up smash gets beaten out by up tilt. Yeah, so... And he just doesn't get the angles right, you know? It looks so easy when, you know, the top Pikachu does it, but it's not easy getting those angles to sweet spot the ledge. Nice job, man. Out of shield. Little thunder. <laughs> Two of them. We got them. Good shorten. Double lasers because he's too far to punish. And up smash. Very potent. Needs a clean stock here, though, for sure. Can't take much more than this. Unless he wants to just okie doke him twice. Alright, gonna try to... <laughs> gonna try to get the, uh, the thunder jolts going again. To counteract the laser pressure. Or the laser camping, you could even say. To be honest. Ooh. Oh, okay. So, yeah, just P2, P squared, you know, making a concerted effort to stay away from the ground for the most part. Uh, I guess just to avoid the lasers. I don't know if it's just also to try to just nair from the platforms or anything. Or shield drop or something. I don't know. Oh, good down there through the platform, though. But it hasn't really worked out. You know, Tempest has got those openings. Tech chase up smash. Doesn't get the strong hit, I don't think. Because that didn't look like Pikachu's strong hit. Didn't sound like it. Anyway. Up air. Oh, rolls away. Good reaction to do that. A little bit of start up on that force smash as well. Gonna back throw. Tried to thunder drill him out of it. Waited a little too much there, maybe. I don't know. He's just, I was really just concerned because he's 162, so anything like that's gonna kill him. Alright, so we'll go to game two. Uh. I don't know what the fan is. Might be FD. Uh, are we going to Fountain? Yeah, we're going to Fountain. I'm not going to make the obvious reference. Anyway, because it's not even the same characters. And we're seeing some laser camping. Well, not laser camping, just laser pressure. He's still going in on him. And he tried to follow him there, but didn't get a good enough angle there. Oh, and he, again, he goes up, but he doesn't get the second jolt there from the up B. Um, 
And yeah, he t uh, honestly, Peace Bread looks lost in this matchup so far. Like, uh, the stuff that Tempest is doing, he just doesn't know how to get around it. Uh, like, he's trying. He, th he, I think he thought coming into this that he knew what he was going to do, but it just hasn't worked out for him. And now that he's, like, maybe trying to play a little more grounded, he's seeing why he probably went to the platforms in the first place, is he can't get around these lasers, can't move out of shield fast enough. Yeah, so... Try to tech chase up smash there, a little dash dance, but went a little too far, and besides, Kaku got a shield up. Um, you know, tech chase in, and... Or just chase after him, but into the corner, but he doesn't go far enough. And cleared out. So, this hasn't worked. Hasn't worked at all. He needs to figure something out. SD's a good start. So he'll take that to the bank, and now he just needs a clean stock. At some point in the rest of the set, he needs one clean stock, and then he'll be back into it. Double up smash, and we get the rapid jabs. Why not? Tries to tilt him, but maybe if he up-angled up -angled that forward tilt, it would have worked. Not sure. Alright, back throw. Forward air, up air, stage spike. Gotta tech it, I guess. I don't know if you can really predict that that's the angle that's gonna happen. It's Pikachu. He's weird. Me personally, if I see somebody uh, coming out to hit me, I'm generally gonna press R just in case, because you know there's it's a big window and it's bufferable. Anyway, you're not gonna you're usually not gonna air dodge through it. Um, and if you don't go for it, you're still you're still probably dead. Anyway, so. Interesting that he chose to get up a tech when he's so far away. I guess it's just a kind of a habit thing. Oh, Tail Smash does not work. Okay. Back air. Good job getting the ledge that time. Gonna try to t a tournament winners around the forward smash. So, you know, sometimes it works, boys and girls. Sometimes it works. <laughs> and, uh, Shot's joining me here in a second. And we are... Deep into game two here. Uh, uh, looks like Tempest took first game. Yes, he did. Um, so, I can't remember how what happened last time. I'm pretty sure they played before. Okay. Uh, no, they didn't end. Up, they didn't actually end up playing. Okay. So what happened okay. was they were they were they would have played in the last at the last Westchester, I believe, where Tempest did really well in a yeah. losers bracket run. Okay. But um, P2 ended up P squared ended up losing to um, Mark two. Yeah. And I I was trying I was telling I was gonna tell Tempest or I was telling Tempest that uh P Squared is definitely not somebody you want to sleep on. No He's a good definitely a very good very solid player. Yeah, I will I will say this this was looking grim for P Squared this game and he brought it back uh very well, right? Yeah, he, he, definitely. He was down two stocks. He's definitely got a um a very very uniquely good Set of skills, yeah, and he works with them very well. Mm -hmm. And like, honestly, like the one thing he probably wishes he could change about this set so far is his up -bees. He has not gotten the ledge with his up yeah. and that's going to cost him the set right there. Yeah, when all said and done. Uh, it, it, and the other thing that 